So I'm very happy to introduce Quan Chen, Dr. Chen. He's one of our own scientists. Probably most of the people know him, but that means we know what he's doing in terms of research. At least uh, you know, what I consider him is half you know, physics and half engineer. He has much stronger physics background than me. That's the part I really, you know, if we have some questions, I'm to go up for him. And today he is trying to explain to us you know, he has been focused on this project and on this topic for several years. And then he has did a lot of progress and then recently had so many publications in terms of, you know, to me, the kind of breakthrough of this research field. What is interesting is quite different from us or from most of us here, is he's trying to look at how we can get more information from the MRI scanner. <coughs> You know, for most of us, we are in the application field to think about what's the imaging related to diseases, related to uh, cognitive functions. But he's looking at basically from a physics point of view to say how we can get more information from a scanner. So he will explain a new way to use scanner. We are using you know, imaging come from a magnitude. But he is trying to explain how we can use face information from the scanner and get a better or more meaningful pictures that provide different information. So without further delay, let's welcome Dr. Chen to, give, to explain what he's doing. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, this is my talking title. First, uh, I explain the title has uh, uh, some uh, several concepts. So in intrinsic brain functional mapping in reconstructed magnetic susceptibility data set. So first uh, intrinsic, you think uh, uh, this uh, concept is different from your functional network intrinsic. Here intrinsic meaning is uh, for intact. And the signal I use is uh, not intacted by the MI technology. That means it has not dependent on the MI technology prominence. That's it. It is a meaning. Because we know that uh, we get a data magnitude and the phase from a scanner, it depends on the parameter setting. So next uh, concept is the brain function mapping. That means the brain function mapping I point out that it's based on the body contrast. That means it's based on the change of brain blood and magnetism. And this is fundamental source of uh, the function method. So the reconstruction. So reconstruction is not the MI imaging reconstruction. That means we, call, uh, we know it's reconstruction imaging from K space. Here is no. Here is the reconstruction. I think uh, I use the reconstruction. That means the data generated by computer and uh, by solving uh, inverse problem. So that means uh, the data is not uh, generated by uh, instrument detection as, as by just by computer. So magnetic susceptibility, this concept that means uh, I uh, use the brain tissue magnetic uh, property. The, the property is magnetic susceptibility. Yeah, the, the uh, brain tissue uh, is general idea that means it includes everything. Or, uh, remember, that means blood is also considered as a tissue. So data space, uh, for the data space. That means uh, it's constructed the data space, that means well, it's a data set. I mean, in this data set, we can do uh, functional uh, mapping and the connectivity something. Okay, this is the concept of the title. So general idea, I'll talk about it in uh, parts. Uh, first, the model, then, then the subunity reconstruction, 4D, uh, 3D, 4D, uh, the simulation. Also, we we'll to talk about the medical image. We must talk about the phantom test. Yeah, finally, you uh, involve some subject items. So this is the basic uh, um, model to understand the FMI. So the person, um, the stimuli, external stimuli, and there is a um, functional activity ha happening in, inside the brain. And this we denote this by time. Uh, change the uh, the kind of change um, for representation of the uh, 
functional use. So, but uh, after uh, my scanning, we get the data magnitude and the phase, but it is uh, time changing. And this already is uh, um, has something related to the now other technology. And that is the problem technology dependent. So the model, something like this, this is the source, the uh, support source, X, Y, Z, T, change with the time, spatial change and the time change. So if the MI UPI sequence, we get the image, that is complex imaging, it has a magnitude in the face, and then I highlight uh, this part, this X, X is uh, the, um, represent the parameters of the MI technology. It can be uh, a field of uh, field spans, P0, T, fleet <coughs> angle, box size, sequence, etc. I mean that all the data we get uh, by MI scanning, when it is depend on these parameters. Uh, I think it's my job to remove these parameters by uh, stop the image flow. So the <coughs> Animation like this, uh, UPI just uh, 2D UPI slides. Uh, after scanning, uh, get uh, a magnitude in the face. This is just one slice. For 3D, just repeat for three dimensional component. So, model like this, that uh, means that we uh, fix the T, then the sun affinity uh, change. We get uh, the magnitude change and the phase change, but that also depend on the uh, machine. Okay, this is a model with uh, the two module model. <laughs> for the, this module, that's just for um, physiological or the biologist, biologist, uh, phys uh, physiologist uh, to work on this uh, that uh, provides the sensitivity change based on the functional and uh, non-functional structure and the functional and uh, this is very, I think it's um, very complicated, but uh, I don't involve this too much. But uh, uh, based on my background, I just work on this part, this technology part. It's a very strict technology. I mean, uh, you, given this, a district, uh, a data set, I can generate uh, this data set by strict uh, technology. This has no, almost no error. So this is a form of 4D high, this is a source, this is a generator, the 4D uh, yeah, 4D magnitude and the 4D phase. This is from machine, I can uh, from machine can this is out, simulation can this is out, and then my job is go back from here to here, uh, go back to the source. This is the source, inverse MR. So this is a forward that generated the magnet data and the phase data. So this magnitude imaging and the phase imaging. Okay, my job is the inverse arm, and from face, just from face, no, 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 no from magnet, uh, get the source. Probably. Okay, this is um, for understanding the, the, the original source, the physical source of the for, for, for cat, cat source. Uh, we know if, if there's no subject put in the scanner, it's a uniform field, B0. But the subject uh, put it there, the name is object. It's convolution with the dipole to magnetic addition. This is a physical part. So, so changing the field is a homogeneous field. So if the ET is this field, this delta B chain, that's give us information for functional imaging and uh, so the source uh, um, physical source um, consists of uh, um, these are X tags. Uh, you work in the uh, blood in in vein, oxygenated uh, blood in artery, and this uh, the neural is, is uh, uh, negative. So the bold, the orange of bold, the bold contrast is uh, this difference. Oxygenated and the deoxygenated, the difference of uh, just this, very small, yeah, very, yeah, very small. So, so all the bold is singular, is and it's generated due to this difference, <coughs> this change. Okay, well, next I come to the uh, 3D chi um, tomograph. Because uh, uh, I like the 
high tomography because I work on CT, uh, computer tomography for I don't know, five or six years. Right now I work on MI also five or six years. So like, uh, just this morning I get the get uh, proof for for book chapter. This is book chapter for the invest MI for tomographic uh, magnetic field image reconstruction. I think I'm the right person at the right time, also at the right place to address the relationship between the CT and the MRI. Okay. So this is the open access book. I think it will be available immediately in, in few months because right now it's just get it. So it's, uh, I think it's great because it's open access. So I use the uh, 3D the uh, spatial tide tomography, like the reconstruction tide. Uh, this is a data flow model like from the source to submitting. And uh, this is the forward get the data. This is, this is the inverse to get the source. So step one, this is magnetization, this is type of effect here. And uh, this is the EPI scanning <coughs> MRI. So, so then, then from the forward model, okay, address the inverse model. So you may step on from the face imaging to get the field map in the field here. Then calculate the sensitivity, two steps. So there are different technology. This one technology has originally yeah, published by Martin Hyde. <coughs> technically, it's a filter and invest filter. That's it. I try to use technology, inverse beauty, because this is a convolution, it's a deconvolution, it's inverse beauty, this technology. Mm -hmm. Also, another group was, uh, yeah, 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 this was uh, another uh, technique. This is beauty. This is a software inverse problem. Uh, inverse uh, uh, metrics problem. In our group, we use the uh, iterative TD to, to variation, use this method to solve the uh, this problem. So I think, so I think there are many publications on solve this uh, the 3D decomposition, yeah, 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 3D decomposition problem. So our technique is, is a iterative total variation. The other people you know, use this one and this one also was L1 uh, iteration. Okay. <coughs> The inverse model, the inverse algorithm is step one from face to field map, step two from field map to time map. I mean, this is, this is a 3D convolution uh, solver. This is the face imaging process. That the beautiful face always wrapped. This is uh, for unwrap, yeah, for unwrapping the face. So that means uh, we solve the inverse problem of flat face salinity. I want to mention that here. And there's a flat magnet to start in it, no way. There's, a, there's no way, uh, no through way from magnet to start in it. Only from face to start in it. Because we have uh, some more approximation model, this is a linear model that allows this to go through. So next we talk about the 4D, just uh, in, uh, uh, include uh, one more dimension, time, time. And uh, here's no time, here's time. This is 3D, this is 4D. So I think it's my first time to talk about the kite tomography and uh, use this term, use this concept as a catalyst model. Catalyst is used as, as agent to facilitate, facilitate the chemical reaction and in the output product, but the agent is not involved in the product. So in this way, I will use the catalyst model to talk about this. We from here from source to here, I'm, 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 I'm scanning get the data set, the magnet and the face is complicated. Uh, yeah, it's not complicated, it's a complex value data set. Then we solve the reverse problem, go back to here, we hope for the reconstructed chi and the, the true chi should be the same. Yeah, maybe there are some difference because it's a, Discrete, discrete sampling and some other, and maybe a small noise, a small change due to noise noise. 
So from here, we can go back and uh, the technology parameter will be removed. So here you can remove the TE by dividing, because it is linear model. You divide it by, here you TV, TE, including the doing image for, uh, um, formation. But this step, invest step, remove the TE. This time, what divide B0, remove the B0. Then we get the reconstructed, the reconstructed source, that means that it's not <coughs> dependent on B <coughs> and the T0 anymore. So in this way, in this sense, I, I may say that MI and the inverse MI serve as a catalyst for chi reconstruction. So technically, we uh, uh, get the body chi or yeah, body phase, and uh, uh, you uh, want to uh, uh, get the chi based the functional matching with this technology and this technology. This is a conventional magnetism based technology. Uh, here you invest the uh, invest RMI in the here, here different level of invest RMI in the case. So this is illustration and then uh, 40, man, uh, 40 magnitude, we get a flat machine, 40 phase, also get a flat machine, but use the inverse uh, technology, we get a 40 chi, then like this. Okay, the simulation, you know, because the medical imaging has three steps. First uh, is the, uh, should be used, uh, um, algorithm or physical principle is uh, is feasible. Uh, also, first uh, it considers uh, the simulation should be do some simulation to verify it's uh, feasible uh, to do so. Uh, next is the banking. Then next is the uh, clinical trial. Yeah. So this simulation is a 40 chi with simulation 40 chi like this. So divide uh, define uh, region green region, volume of uh, interest, uh, just small region like this, and uh, configure, um, configure this region with uh, uh, positive chi change and the negative chi change and then, uh, inside there. So, so the time cost maybe we can define the on and off, on and off like this. So the chi change is defined uh, like this, and then the, the chi the positive change like this, this is a noisy function. First, uh, uh, construct the 4D chi. Like this. Uh, so for just a simulation, a 4D chi simulation, we right now we include the one more module. <coughs> that means uh, this is a for fun functional mapping, functional collectivity uh, will happen in this module. So this module, uh, first module is uh, still biological and uh, physiological and then this is we should uh, from there, we want to, the everything functional activity should provide such a unity x and uh, define this. Then this technical part, technical part is generated the uh, magnitude and the phase. Then from uh, magnitude with a functional matching, then just like all you do, then, uh, um, and the connecting is something like this. Here just for task correlated uh, functional matching uh, based uh, Magnitude is based on phase. It's just for simulation. Okay, simulation. So we can configure the brain VLI. So we can use the vessel. We can use the PE. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, to define the theta chi chain. Theta chi chain. Uh, this is localized theta chi chain. Uh, here outside almost zero. Change just <coughs> in this region. This region. Positive change, negative change. Positive change, negative. Change. Uh, this is a single box simulation. I mean, just uh, look at the single box so inside the box so the data chi chain to get a single box so with, uh, with respect to uh, T at the time of T. So because we use the simulation, we can get ev almost everything. We can get the uh, intro, extra bad vascular signal or the intro vascular signal. But uh, this is the final uh, total signal. And it's magnitude like this, EK with the time, and this is the phase, and linearly, linearly increase with the time. But inside the blood, blood vessel, it happens magnitude like this, but phase rapidly like 
in the in the building phenomenon have the insight. That is simply we can get this uh, by simulation, but experiment this is not available. This that means we cannot divide this and then into this part and this part. Simulation can uh, confound this uh, this channel. Uh, then uh, we have I mean, the sweet dissemination, that means it's a volume, we define the chi volume as an array of voxels, then uh, calculate the magnitude, the field map, and then calculate the magnitude and the phase, or the static uh, singular, or uh, can also include, include the diffusion effect. Okay, next step, uh, we go further to full dissemination. Uh, we include the time. And th th this is just uh, the get the full 4D time, 4D magnitude, and the 4D phase, then collision with the time pass. Yeah, it is, it's relatively uh, not published yet. But we found this is very dependent on the noise level. It's a too noisy, it's a too noisy, that means the functional map is a warm. Yeah, almost uh, destroyed. If there's a if no noise, it is a saturation like this. So if there's a noise level like this, it's a functional map is here and here. Okay, let's talk about uh, the second step of metal imaging, which is uh, perform the phantom test. If no phantom test, then uh, the, uh, the medical imaging is incomplete. So we use uh, the tube, you know, put it, uh, get the linear at the inside, and dilute it, and get the magnitude, and the phase, your yeah, phase is the type of is here, reconstruction, get the subjectivity, this is another method of reconstruction. But uh, this is just uh, for 3D chi phantom study, uh, chi tomography study, is, uh, right now there is no 4D chi. We just uh, this is uh, not changing with time. Okay, then, um, then we talk about the uh, the uh, new subject experiment. This is a three T experiment. Well, this three T is not use the DPI, not uh, just use the GRE sequence. That means uh, to uh, capture uh, a slapshot state of the brain. This magnitude, this is a 3D volume, this is a 3D volume on the face. Then use the reconstruction, get a 3D time map like this. But uh, many people, based on this technology for iron study, uh, to examine their, to examine their brain eye distribution in, yeah, in, in, inside of the brain, iron distribution. Uh, uh, this metal. So we, uh, somebody called it uh, this, this technology, a uh, high-based study uh, for the iron image. But before our, our concern, we, we are interested in the, the functional cap. That means the 4D magnitude and the 4D phase and the inverse problem and the 4D cap. This, uh, our sequence use the GRE DPI sequence. Yeah, uh, not not a GI sequence, should be a DPI sequence. Get the uh, get the quickening, get the forty data. So this is a functional matching at a three T uh, yeah. by magnitude like this. Yeah, you can see visual very strong visuals and motor very strong. But yes, the construct subjectivity is more uh, some somewhat different. So this is a 70 experiment. Uh, this is uh, not available from here. Uh, it's, uh, we got data from the Auburn University. Uh, university. And then, uh, this is just to show one slice at a one time, and magnitude, phase, and then uh, subunit. This is a time hop. This is a result as a function uh, based upon, yeah, this is a functional map based on magnitude, yeah, based on, uh, this is based on subunit. So uh, I want to point out the high resolution effect. That means at uh, 70, there is a, at one PG, that means 
provide the high resolution imaging magnitude, and this is subdimity. And uh, at the uh, 3T, at the 3T, uh, with the 3T data almost like this, function data like this, so this structure is not clear. So when we get a result, we want to uh, display the functional result of the structural uh, plane, that plane. And, uh, uh, this is scanned by the T1 scan, this is scanned by a T2 star or EPI scan. That is, uh, we should call register, register the T1 scan and the T2 scan. Yeah. Yeah, from the same person. Yeah, if not, if not, not, not the same person, maybe use the, this can be used, um, can use the atlas. Then, um, so, um, uh, on a standard model or template. But for 70 data sets, that means uh, this, is, uh, this structure is already clear. I mean, um, you can see the uh, structure here, constructed, the subdivision structure is okay. That means uh, you get a function data, just display the data on this structure. You can say, oh, here, here is Jerry, here is Susa, here is, uh, uh, this, uh, don't need to uh, use uh, the uh, standard. Uh, template. Maybe uh, the, uh, my brain is different uh, from your brain. I mean, the, the structure is somewhat different. Because, but uh, uh, this high resolution is, in fact, uh, this my brain functional, the my brain structure, uh, uh, self registration. I mean, uh, we don't need uh, the registration for high resolution. That means uh, this uh, T1 data, we don't need the any. I mean, we just get uh, this, um, get uh, the data from this for structure, for background. So uh, I think uh, in part, uh, for scientific research, uh, uh, there are so many organizations uh, engaged in this, this, this study. Uh, right now, there are more universities, more organizations uh, involved in this study. But uh, I think the, these groups uh, study the uh, scientific mapping for many years, and the Kona University, maybe more than 10 years, Duke University, or the recently published model paper, this is Wayne State University. Uh, also, an uh, H group recently also uh, get involved in this study. Uh, so, uh, in UK, this university, in Germany, this university. Uh, also, uh, I want to mention that they are focused on the 3D chi deconstruction, the structure. Most of the use is for iron. And imaging uh, to study the ion distribution in that plane. But uh, in our group, the I uh, started here about uh, on this to topic about uh, four or five years, uh, just big focus on chi functional, that's a 4D chi functional, and related to both. This is not necessarily in related to both, but the structural theorem for uh, a structural frame. So uh, as I understand it's like in future, that means uh, scientifically speaking, that means uh, the chi world will come eventually. But right now, it's not come yet. You know, can, uh, it's not come yet. Why? Because there's so many, I, th I think there's so many um, uh, obstacles. The histo uh, historically, historically, that the magnitude is good in it. Yeah, uh, I think, you know, what's the MI thing about it? It's, we can't do this before. We, we get the data, MI data, we get the and MI data. Yeah, it's always to say, uh, it's a magnitude, it's a default. Also, it is a very good result. We can't do that in, uh, it plays a very important in the history of MI. It's very good, yeah. In future, it uh, will always consider as uh, the important legacy. So right now, uh, we we'll still accept the uh, mag magnitude as uh, MI data and, uh, and MI still. Uh, technically, I think the MI is, uh, is prone to errors. I think right now, the Siemens machine, the base reconstruction is not optimal. So there are some people still work on how to get the base reconstruction. Uh, it's optimal base reconstruction in Scanner, scanner. But for magnitude, it's well done. It's, uh, it's all 
for already you know, offline. Uh, I think the last thing is that uh, uh, I want to mention that the high technology, reconstruction technology, is not freely available. It's not a freely built. Yeah. But you have a different group for file, different pattern for uh, uh, the, the high research construction. Uh, in our group, we file this pattern, the 3D and the 4D assassination tomography based on complex MI uh, technique. Uh, I think uh, uh, this pattern technology is based on uh, deep uh, rich TV reconstruction. So, uh, I'll close my talk with this map, with uh, these two maps. Uh, my magnetic data provide a very good uh, bio magnetic brain depiction. Uh, uh, but it, uh, it starts from certain distortion due to my transformation. Because it depends on the technology. Uh, the data should be transformed and to, pr uh, to produce output for you to, for you to use. So by solving the uh, inverse problem, we can remove the MII transformation. But this is only feasible for a linear model. If for, for a non-linear model, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, am I, uh, so uh, another remark. Am I derived the chi data, that is this chi source data, provide the intrinsic uh, magnetic brain depiction. Because this, this is the brain tissue magnetism uh, the property in itself. It's not really related to uh, MI technology. So it's very natural, and we call it uh, intrinsic. It's, it's natural and uh, intact uh, property of brain, brain structure and brain function. Uh, but it demands for a solution of zero tolerance. Uh, inverse RMI. This uh, inverse problem, inverse RMI problem, is a, uh, is a uh, mathematically say it's a yield cost. That means we need a regularization to solve this problem. So the result is depend on the uh, uh, technology. So I close my talk and with thanks to Prince uh, Kapu and and uh, in past years, almost uh, we have uh, a once, uh, one similar a week uh, for discussing uh, my research. Okay, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Any mark and any comments or questions? Yeah. Can you go back to the slide showing the brain <coughs> and the susceptibility map? Uh, brain and which slide? Uh, this seventeen. Uh, this should be. Uh, uh, this is 70. That means magnitude, this, this is raw data. We don't do anything, just to show the raw data. But uh, the, we process <coughs> the face and the unwrapping and the inverse and get the data So this is a uh, calculated from here. This is the uh, 470 data, it's a hybrid data. And this is for, uh, this is a switchy. 3D data is the subunity, this is a base, you can just magnitude, base, and the subunity. Like yeah, it looks like this. The next slide. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Uh, so, this is a conventional based, uh, functional mapping based on uh, magnitude. I have very good result. But here, the construction. Uh, look, look, here the positive and negative. Here is also the structure. Here is the uh, positive and negative. Uh, the, the, this pattern. 
uh, so for from uh, biological part or physiological part, I don't know. But uh, technically, I think uh, yeah, okay, this this is not a generated family. It's just by take uh, by uh, uh, program take technical program. It is correct. But uh, maybe there are many reasons, many reasons to uh, to uh, for for the difference between this and this. Uh, I mentioned that the magnitude is a uh, uh, long negative data, long negative exploration. But uh, this is a uh, uh, can be positive and negative. Can you show the 70 data, please? This is 70 data. This is the magnitude of the uh, functional map. Yeah, functional map. This is a stability function map, and this uh, here is a positive and a negative. Here is positive, here is also negative, here is uh, some thing. The pattern is different. And this is you, uh, you use the uh, magnitude data, data center like this to uh, get the functional map. Like this, you use the continuity data set like this to get the functional map like this. I don't know. I still worry about the base reconstruction from machine, not optimal. Maybe something is uh, we need still need some improve. Yes, uh, improvement on the. Base reconstruction. As I know, University of Arizona, the Joseph, he got a grant and just on base reconstru uh, reconstruction, multi channel base reconstruction. So, because this te uh, technology is uh, highly dependent <coughs> on the face, if face is not good, the sustainability is not good anymore. So, face is very important. To get the yes, please. Yeah, please run the construction like this. Maybe it should be very reliable. But right now we use the three key data set. The base already. Weighted by SWI, because yeah, is not a draft. Yeah, most part not draft. But the same data here is space is easy is draft all the time. So I think this technology is highly dependent on the face reconstruction. Yeah, so still is going uh, is ongoing research process. Some, some were negative, 
because it's relative change. But for a single magnitude, it must be non-negative. And the data must be non-negative. So maybe here is some uh, what, uh, uh, negative. And here is a negative, there is a negative. Thank you all.